What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now, last time that I posted a video, I talked about the five features that most people don't really know about when using Instagram. Now, at the end of that video, I promised that I would be posting a video just like this where I would share more unknown features, but this time specifically for Instagram story. So if you'd like to know some features that you probably weren't using on Instagram story, then keep on watching. All right, so the first feature that I wanna show you is leveraging copy and paste for your Instagram stories. Now, did you know that you can actually copy and paste multiple photos within your Instagram story. Now I'm gonna share my screen right over here and teach you exactly how it's done. All right, so I just got a new kitten recently and let's say I wanna post a story with multiple photos of my kitten in just one page. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on my photo albums and I'm gonna choose a couple photos of my kitten. So this is my new kitten, his name is Jupiter. And I'm actually going to copy this photo. Now once I go to my Instagram story, what I'll do is I'll post, you know, let's say a blank photo right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the screen, and when I hold the screen, I'm going to click paste. This is going to automatically paste that photo that I have just copied. Now let's say I wanna add more photos because this is a little album of my new kitten. I'm gonna go back to my album, find another photo of my kitten, copy it again, go to my story, and paste it once more. Boom, here's another one. Now I can actually keep going. I can add as many photos as you want. So this is a really cool feature if you want to kind of add more photos in one story instead of doing multiple stories. And this is something that I find super, super convenient and super, super cool. Now the second hack that I wanna share with you in terms of Instagram stories is the ability to actually access more colors. Now again, I'm gonna share my screen and show you exactly what I mean. So right now I am on my Instagram story. I'm about to post a picture of me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some text. Now my text, maybe will be hello. Now what you don't realize is you can actually have more colors aside from the colors that Instagram automatically gives you. And how you do this is all you have to do is just take a color and hold it down. Once you hold down that color, you're gonna be able to access the entire archive of all the colors that exist. So if you don't like any of the colors that Instagram has given you, you can always choose your own. Now, if you wanna take it a step further, the third hack that I wanna show you is how to create gradient colors or rainbow colors in your fonts. So let's say you wanna kick it up a notch and you don't just want to have a solid base color. Now let me first show you how to get a rainbow effect. What you want to do is you want to select your text, highlight all of it, and then you also want to hold the color button so that you get the entire color scheme. Now what I showed you earlier is that if you keep dragging that dropper across, you're going to get new colors. But if you want to have a rainbow effect, what you want to do is while you drag your finger across in terms of getting the colors, you also want to drag the highlight section as well. So together, let's just do it and see how it goes. You want to drag it across and then you want to let go and you'll be able to kind of get rainbow effect. Now, obviously, as you can see, it's a little bit hard to master, but if you're really good at dragging it at the same time and at the same speed, you should be able to unlock the rainbow effect. As you can see, I'm not very good at it, but at least you get the idea. Now, let's say you want to actually create a gradient effect. Now, what you want to do is basically the same thing. You want to highlight all, you want to hold it so that you get all the colors, but instead of dragging it across, you want to drag the color dropper up and down in order to get a gradient effect. So while you're dragging the highlighted text across, your other finger is dragging the color scheme up or down in order to get a gradient effect of the same color. So let's say I want to do something like a gradient purple. I'm going to go to the purple section, and as I drag the selector across, I'm going to drag the color dropper up and that's going to allow a cool little effect where I have a total gradient in purple. Now these are obviously really cool features to leverage, especially if you wanna spice up your Instagram stories. I personally don't use them, but I still think it is quite cool. All right, so the next and last hack that I wanna share with you is actually something that I use quite often, and it is how to actually have multiple answers to your Instagram questions in one story. One of the features that I use a lot in my Instagram stories is the question function. This is the thing where you actually ask your audience questions and then they give back the answer. Now, something that I've always struggled with is answering all these questions all at once because you can only share each answer at a time in your story. Now, like I've been doing this entire video, I'm gonna pop my screen right here so you can see what I'm talking about. But basically, this is an example of a question that I asked my audience a while back regarding a program that I was launching. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to share the response to your story, you're gonna position it the way that you want, and then you're going to save the photo. You're not gonna upload it yet, you're just going to save it. Now, after you've shared this new question on your page, what you can do now is actually re-upload 
upload the previous photo that you had saved with the last question that you had. And then you just keep repeating the steps until you're happy with the result. What this is going to do is that on one page alone, you're gonna have all the answers to your questions and you're gonna be able to answer them all at once. Now, obviously the person who answered the question will not get notified when you share. Just because technically you're not sharing their answer anymore, you're just saving and uploading and saving and uploading. However, what you can do is just simply tagging these people in that one story so that they can all be notified to check on your answers to their questions or your responses to their answers. Whew, so as you can see, so far this video has been a total mouthful. This is definitely a shorter video than usual, but I really hope that you enjoyed the hacks that I showed you on how you can make your Instagram stories a little bit more interesting. Now, if you're watching this video and you are someone that is super interested in Instagram, then make sure you hit the notification bell because the next video that I'm gonna post is gonna be my tips and my suggestions on what I would do with an account if I was starting from zero, meaning zero followers, zero posts, zero everything. So if you wanna know how I would grow an account that literally started from the bottom, then make sure you hit the notification bell so you do not miss it. Also, if you wanna learn more about social media, business, and just life in general, make sure you check out these two videos as well. As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great life, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.